Ikadan R290 unit. We're going to go through the basics of how this is working. So the first thing we'll start off with is the compressor. Compressor's forcing that refrigerant around the circuit, and more importantly, it's taking that refrigerant from being a low pressure to being a high pressure. So there's a direct correlation between pressure and temperature. So we're going to send that nice high pressure vapor from the compressor, and we're going to send off to plate heat exchanger. So the plate heat exchanger is going to transfer that energy from the refrigerant to the water at high pressures, yeah? And as we do so, that refrigerant is going to go from being a vapor to being a liquid. So it takes really large amounts of energy to make something change in form, not much to make it change in temperature. So that's what we're playing about with here. So by the time it's gone through that plate heat exchanger, it's all become a liquid and we're producing that nice hot water from there. Liquid refrigerant is going to go from the bottom. It's going to go into an expansion device. The expansion device does the exact opposite of what a compressor does. So it takes it from being a high pressure and makes it a low pressure. Think of it as being um, like a very small orifice, yeah? A um, bit like a, a nozzle on an aerosol can. High pressure inside the can as you press your finger on the top, you've got low pressure on the other side, therefore you can see it changing in form, becoming a vapour. That's what an expansion device does, but obviously got better control. And we go from there, it goes off through the coil at the back of the unit. As that refrigerant passes through the coil at the back of the unit, it's all going to want to boil from being a liquid to all being a vapour, but it's going to do this at low temperatures. It's going to do it at low enough temperatures that I can steal the energy from the air around the unit. So you're going to have nice cold air coming in front of the unit because that's where I'm stealing the energy from. Refrigerant's going to go through it, coil, all become a vapour. It comes back round, back into the compressor, taking from being a low pressure to being a high pressure, and we carry on from there. The thing is, on here, on the R290 units, is we have a large automatic air vent on here and a set of pressure relief valves on there as well. Belt and brace, that's why we've got two on there. Reason for this, this is all that worst case scenario, a bit of an over-engineering exercise. Because worst case scenario is R290 refrigerant was to leak into the water circuit we want to make sure it's going to come out here and not inside the building. Very unlikely, but we need to think about it. So that's why it's so big on there. It's making sure we're going to get the air out of the system. So once the system's all commissioned and up and working, closed up all the automatic air vents inside the building, any other form of venting, so it's all done here outside the building. So a little bit of a brief overview of the R290 unit.